Hey everyone, this is Bo from the Mars server. I'm here to do a video on things you may or may not know existed in Mabinogi. So, let's go ahead and get started. I've got a compiled list just for you guys. Now, the first thing on my list is the sheep tuplets. If you guys didn't know, if you share it for the first time in your real life day, you will always be guaranteed a huge lucky finish. Now, if you guys don't believe me, check out me sharing a bunch of other sheep tuplets and you're always going to see me getting a huge lucky finishes. And that is basically the little trick here for those who are collecting wool. After the first year, unfortunately, you're not guaranteed a huge lucky, unless you get lucky, of course. The next thing on my list is for all those who need nails for carpentry or for, I guess, homestead stuff. I know most of you guys already are well aware that the snowmen uh, drop lots of nails, but not all the time. And it can be really frustrating for those who need a ton of nails. Uh, so one special place I like to go to is Port Sand, where they actually have nails falling out of these rocks. And hey, you know what? The rate of uh, drop here is actually higher than the one at the snowman because they don't drop snowballs. So if you guys want lots of nails, come here instead. Now the next thing on my list is actually a lot of people do not know about this, and it is the housing board trick. Now if you guys use the housing board search and you want to look for, let's say, a specific item like the royal knight armor, and you put in knight, and then you get dark knight. Ugh, that's not what I wanted. So instead you backspace it all and then you type in royal instead, and then you start getting royal robe stuff, and you're like, ah, that's also not what I wanted. So let's say you want to put in both words, royal and knight. How do you do that? Because if you put in a royal space knight, you're not going to get results, guys. So in order to get around it, you have to put an underscore in between the two words. Once you put an underscore in between the two words, you will get the result that you need. And voila, there it is, the royal knight stuff that you're looking for. Now the next one on my list is not really much of a secret, but it's kind of a tactic, and it's for those who want to get around the continent warp wait time. Now if you guys uh, use your continent warp, and let's say you go to area and you're like, wait a second, I meant to go somewhere else. <laughs> um, so you can actually go back to your lot if you want to by creating a squad. Now to do this, just open the squad party, and then you go click on move. What that's going to do is warp you to the raid area, which is the same continent as your lot. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys got a ton of moon gates, so you can go to the nearest moon gate and catch the place that you need to go to. So that is a way to get back to your lot if you accidentally can't warp to another place. Another way around continent warp, of course, is using a warp imp. If you guys have a warp imp, you can actually have them save the location in the other continent so you don't have to, you know, rely on the wait time and the can't warp thingy. Now, if you guys don't have a warp imp, you can get a free one by uh, completing Festia, um, I guess, achievements. Once you've done 500 points in Festia, you should be able to get a Fez whistle and 1000 will give you a Tia whistle. Alright, now the next thing on my list is turning in artifacts. If you guys don't know how artifacts works, if you turn it into Void, you will get some EXP for your expiration. Now what some people don't know is that you can actually turn in your artifacts anywhere to any shop. So in order to do this, just go to any shop and even your food cart works and open the shop and sell your artifact into the shop. That will actually give you the expiration EXP, same one as you would get from Void. No higher, no less, it's exactly the same thing. So there's actually no point for you guys to make that long trip all the way to Core just to turn it in to Void. You can actually sell it to any shop and receive the same amount of expiration EXP. The next thing on my list is very similar. It is the gold bag selling. If you guys you know, get a bunch of those big gold bag pouches and raids and then you don't want to keep them because you got some awesome better gold bags and then you just see people drop the gold bags because they're just like, I don't want them. There is a better way to get rid of them, guys. Basically, just go to any shop, same thing like the artifacts, and sell your gold bag straight even with the gold in it. I think the whole point people didn't want to do this is because they were lazy to sell it. Now just make sure you check, uncheck the direct uh, bank transaction otherwise you're gonna get some fee because it's over 50k if you have a full gold bag so make sure you get that unchecked 
um, and once you do that, sell it back to the shop. You're not gonna lose your money in the gold bag, you're actually gonna get it back and receive the gold for the cost of the bag. A lot of people don't know this and they think that, oh, if I sell my gold bags with the gold in it, I'm gonna lose my gold. Mm, no, you're not. <laughs> I don't think Walter is that shady. <laughs> um, so basically, if you were to transfer the gold out, here's an example, and sell the bag, it's the same amount of gold you'll get back. So it's the same thing, just sell it with the gold or sell it without the gold, it's the same thing you're gonna get back. All right, the next thing on my list is something that most people actually know about, but some people may not, and it's to search personal shops with your pet. If you right click and search personal shops, you can actually type in the word of the item that you're looking for and have your pet go straight to the nearest shop that has it. Uh, granted though, your pet is a little bit dumb, so it's not gonna go around buildings. You might have to like guide it around just to help them out. Um, and then just uh, search again, type in the word, and voila, it'll go to the um, uh, personal shop and sit at it. Uh, so you'll know that this is where it has the item you're looking for. Obviously, there are more shops that will or maybe might have the item that you're looking for, so just click next and then it'll run to the nearest one. Don't spam that next button because then it'll just like confuse it, you know? <laughs> uh, and there you go. You have the um, uh, shop that has the item that you're looking for. Now, I will have to say this though, some personal shops are kind of glitchy and may not work with the search button, so you should check all shops regardless without the pet. Now another thing on my list that some people do not know about or you just don't care about is the fact that you can ride certain mounts in area um, that run around a certain path. So for example, here's one of the mounts that you can ride, just hop on it by right clicking and going to mount and it's gonna take you around area in this automatic path that it's supposed to follow. There's a bunch of uh, mounts like this. You can't really keep them obviously, they're just like bus, you know, bus stops where you have to like get on and get and wait and then it'll start moving eventually um so yeah it's really nice to get on these because they'll take you to all the different areas um in area like the the landmarks that you might need and you know saves you guys some time especially if you don't have a mount all right now the next thing on my list is something a lot of people may not know about and it is the polar hornets in silva forest near Val's area. Now if you guys go to these guys uh, and you kill them, you have a chance of having this little sparkly thing appear. What is that? Make sure your hands are free in order to do this. Um, Cause basically uh, for these little sparkly thingy bobbers, you can gather off of it and receive some white herbs. And this is very important because it's really rare to get white herbs. Um, so this is actually probably the best way to get white herbs. Unless you wanna stay by your clover pig for the rest of your life. These sparkly mabobbers actually act like herb patches so you can get a huge lucky finish off of them if you're lucky. All right, now the next thing on my list is very similar to the polar hornet and it is the amethyst golems in Skathach Beach. If you kill them, they will drop this little sparkly thingy and all you need is to have a metallurgy sieve and sift through the sparkle stuff. Make sure you have harvest song on because then you can actually probably get two sifts in. Basically, these little sparkly things have a chance of dropping white crystals, which is a pure profit item for commercing from Skathach Beach. Um, it is not just uh, amethyst golems that drop items like this, but other monsters on Scratch Beach do drop commerce items. It's just for this specific one, you can sift with your metallurgy sieve on the sparkles and have a chance of getting a huge lucky on those crystals and make a ton of money from commercing. All right, now last but not least, my most biggest secret of all getting good stuff like wings in Gashapon. I know some of you guys are like, what, Bobo, you're not telling us some secrets? Ah, I'm about to tell you right now, that's what I'm gonna do. So now I got a, um, you know, I got uh, some Gashapons right here. I'm about to open it for you guys. So you guys ready to know the secret? Here is the secret. We regret to inform you that we are here to interrupt this part of the video as it includes top secret information that cannot be shared with the Mabinogi community. Have a nice day. And that's a wrap. Are you ready to get lunch, boss? Hey, hey we 
we're still rolling. And voila, that's how you get it. I mean, like, you know, there's no better way to get wings than this method, guys. Check it out. It is so amazing. Guaranteed, right? Right. All right. That's my video, guys. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Hopefully, this was a very helpful video. And like always, guys, stay awesome. Wait, 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 where do you want me to, like, end up standing? Do I stand in front of your throne? When... Yes. Like that? We regret to inform you that the hair tip is you, but you, and the chibacaboo, that this poor- <laughs>